hello guys welcome back to this channel this is Kansas city academy and in today's video we are going to talk about the superposition theorem now this theorem states that in any linear network containing more than one source the current in or voltage across any branch can be found by considering each source separately and adding their effects now what this primarily means is that if you have any linear circuit with more than one source let's say you have a circuit containing two sources and you want to find the current in or voltage across a particular branch then you are going to consider one of the sources at a time which means that you are going to deactivate the other source while you solve the problem now after solving the problem you can denote the voltage or the current component as either VA or IA. So this is going to be the first step. Secondly, you need to deactivate the first source and bring back or activate the second source. Then you solve the problem using the second source. This time, we are going to denote the voltage or the current component as VB or IB. So now, to find the original current or the voltage across that particular branch we need to add or sum up the current or the voltage components so that's going to be ia plus ib for the total current in the branch and then va plus vb for the total voltage across the branch now one thing we need to take note of is the deactivation rule now whenever you deactivate a voltage source you introduce a short circuit or better still you can say you short circuit a voltage source and then you open circuit a current source so whenever you have a voltage source it becomes a short circuit and then whenever you have a current source it becomes what an open circuit so in summary what you are trying to say is that if you have more than one source let's say you have two sources in a circuit and then you want to find the current or the voltage across a particular branch then you want to consider the first source at a time and then you deactivate the second source and you solve the problem after that you deactivate the first source and activate the second source and then you solve the problem now at the end you either sum up the current component or the voltage component depending on what you are looking for I think that we are going to understand this better with a few examples. Now let's solve our first example. In this example, we have two voltage sources, which are the 10 volts, and then we also have the 20 volts. And then we also have three resistors connected in the circuit. And we are to find the current flowing through the 18 ohms resistor using superposition. Now to solve this problem, we need to first of all deactivate one of the sources and maintain one source so let's let the 10 volts act alone which means that we are going to deactivate the 20 volts voltage source and then the 10 volt is going to act alone now let's redraw the circuit so we are going to have the 1 ohm resistor and then the 10 volts here and then we have this 18 ohm resistor and then the 2 ohm resistor now according to the deactivation rule whenever you deactivate a voltage source then you replace it with a short circuit or better still you short circuit a voltage source so you are going to short circuit and then join this line so this is what we are going to have after deactivating the 20 volts and then we are interested in the current flowing through the 18 ohm resistor so let's denote that current by ia so to find the current ia we first of all need to find the total resistance of the circuit and then we find the total current produced by the 10 volts 
and then we can use current division rule to split the current so that we have the current flowing through the 18 ohms resistor now the 18 ohm resistor is in parallel with the 2 ohm resistor okay so now let's denote the total resistance for this particular circuit as rt prime so that's going to be the 18 in parallel with the 2 and then they will be in series with a 1 ohm resistor so you are going to have 18 times 2 divided by 18 plus 2 and then plus 1 now 18 times 2 is 36 and then 18 plus 2 is 20 so we have 36 divided by 20 plus 1 and then this is going to give us 2.8 ohms so RT prime is equal to 2.8 ohms so after finding RT prime which is 2.8 ohms we need to find the total current produced by the 10 volts so that's going to be it prime and it's 10 divided by the total resistance which is what 2.8 ohms so 10 divided by 2.8 is 3.57 amperes so that's the total current produced by the 10 volts now since we are interested in finding the current flowing through the 18 ohm resistor then we can find that by using the current division rule so according to the current division rule ia is going to be the value of this resistor that is 2 divided by the sum of the two resistors that is 2 plus 18 times the total current approaching the junction now the total current approaching the junction is 3.57 amperes so we multiply by 3.57 then ia is going to be 0 0.357 amperes so that is the value of current flowing through the 18 ohms resistor if the 10 volt is acting alone so now what you are going to do is to deactivate the 10 volts and then activate the 20 volts. So now we are going to make the 20 volts act alone. So let's redraw the circuit. So we are going to have the 1 ohm resistor here. And then because we have a voltage source, it's going to be a short circuit. Okay. And then we have the 18 ohms resistor. And then we also have the 2 ohm resistor and then the 20 volts so the 20 volts is going to act alone and like we did for the 10 volts we are going to find the total current produced by the 20 volts now we are going to combine these two resistors because they are connected in parallel and then they will be in series with the 2 ohm so we are going to denote that as our team prime prime that is one is in parallel with the 18 ohm and then they are in series with the 2 ohm resistor so we are going to have 1 times 18 divided by 1 plus 18 plus 2 so 1 times 18 is 18 and then 1 plus 18 is 19 so we have 18 over 19 plus 2 so RT prime prime will be equal to 2.5 nine five ohms now let's find the total current produced by the 20 volts so
so that's going to be it prime prime okay so it's going to be 20 divided by 2.95 and then 20 divided by 2.95 is equal to 6.78 amperes so this is the total current produced by the 20 volts now that current or this current is moving in this direction so this is 6.78 amperes and then we are interested in the current flow flowing in this direction that is ib so we are going to use the current division rule so ib is going to be the value of this resistor which is one divided by the sum of one and then 18 and then multiplied by the total current approaching the junction that is 6.78 so 1 divided by 19 times 6.78 is equal to 0 0.357 amperes so that is IB, the current flowing through the 18 ohms resistor if the 20 volt is acting alone. Now, note the direction. In the first one, we had I1, sorry, IA to be 0 0.357. And then the direction was in this direction. We had this direction. And then in the second one, we are also having this direction so they are all moving in the same direction or towards the same direction so the original current or the total current flowing through the 18 ohms resistor is going to be i18 ohm equals ia plus ib so in the first example or in the first solution we got IA to be 0 0.357 so that's 0 0.357 plus IB which is also 0 0.357 so 0 0.357 plus 0 0.357 is equal to 0 0.714 So the current flowing through the 18 ohms resistor is 0 0.714 amperes. So now let's solve our second example. In the second example, we have two sources. We have a voltage source and a current source. Unlike the first example where we had two voltage sources. Now we are going to find the current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor so we are going to consider one of the sources at a time now let's consider the two volts and deactivate the two amperes so we write two volts acts alone so let's redraw the circuit so we are going to have the two ohms resistor and then we also have our two volts. We have this 4 ohm here. And then the 8 ohm resistor. Now because this is a current source, then we are going to have an open circuit here. So we need to find the current or the total current produced by the two volts. So that is going to be IT prime. And then we are also going to label this as IA. That is the current flowing through the 8 ohm when the two volts 
is acting alone. So to find the total current, we need to find the total resistance of the circuit. Now because the current is going to flow through all the three resistors, then the resistors are connected in series. So RT prime is 2 plus 4 plus 8. Now 2 plus 4 is 6 and 6 plus 8 is 14. So it's going to be RT prime equals 14 ohms. So now the total current, which is IT prime, is equal to 2 divided by 14, which is 1 over 7, and that's 0 0.143 amperes. So this is the total current produced by the two volts. Now, because the total current IT prime is the same as the current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor, then IA is also equal to 0 0.143. Because the resistors are connected in series, the same current flows through all the resistors. So now let's find the current that flows through the 8 ohm resistor when the 2 amperes is acting alone. So we have 2 amperes acting alone. So let's redraw the circuit. We have 2 amperes and then because it is a voltage source, it's a short circuit. Then we also have the 4 ohm, the 8 ohm, and then we have the current source. Notice that these two resistors are connected in series. So their total is 6 ohms. Now, we want to find the current flowing through the 8, the 8 ohms resistor, which is IB. And then we can use the current division rule to find IB. So IB is equal to 6, which is the current or which is the value of the total resistance, the combination of 2 and then 4, divided by 6 plus 8, which is their sum, multiplied by the total current approaching this junction. So we are going to have 6 divided by 14 times 2. That is IB. So IB is equal to 6 divided by 14 times 2 is equal to 0 0.857 amperes. Notice that the currents are flowing in the same direction. We have IA and then IB moving in the same direction. So the total current that is I8 ohm is equal to IA plus IB. Now we had IA to be 0 0.143 and then IB to be 0 0.857 so 0 0.143 plus 0 0.857 is equal to 1.0 ampere so the total current flowing through the 8 ohms resistor is 1.0 ampere